Mimi. Oh, look at this cat. This is the best cat in the world right here. But I did tell you what would happen if you came in here while I was recording, so you know. Go wait in the oven. I'm really sorry about that. I guess that just really shows that no matter how good of a cat you get, they can really be a jerk sometimes. So our main goal for today is to beat Stinky Steve. Oh my, oh, this is loud. I'm sorry about that, if that destroyed your ears just now. Um, yeah, he really put on the clinic for us last time. I am not gonna lie, so I did this on two separate days, so I kind of forget what he does. It'll be a bit of a surprise for me getting back into it. All right, so when he does melee attacks, his things glow white. But he keeps taking those stances and I think he's gonna go attack me. Luckily his first stage is pretty forgiving. I'm still trying to figure out what the whole plot of this game is. It's pretty cryptic so far. I'm guessing there's gonna be some sort of big reveal, because they keep sort of teasing this idea that I am these people and these people are me. Like, so far I guess two people have said that. Two of two of the four people I fought. From what I learned in middle school, I think that's close to a third of them. It does hurt, actually. Ooh, I actually read that one. Oh, not that time, though. All oh, my years of playing League of Legends have really led up to this. Don't play that game. If you haven't started playing that game, don't. I play it pretty consistently. I, I'm plat 2 right now. But uh, I, I, I don't think people should play that. It's it's a curse. That, that community is so toxic. It's unbelievable how seriously people take games. They think they're like all going pro or something. I'm like, guys, you know, you can just play video games to have fun, which actually isn't true. I mean, video games, if, if you're having fun while playing a video game, then you're playing it wrong. They need to be stressful and anger inducing. But they need to do it in the right way. No. Alright. If I remember correctly, if I dash around a bunch, you can't poop on my day. Oh, dude, this guy's the easiest boss in the game. How did I lose to him yesterday? I was probably just all jostled up from fighting daddy time. Ha, ah, nice try, idiot. Oh, he got me anyway. It looks like he idioted me instead. No, my controller! Oh, joke's on me. Alright, I guess I kind of deserve that, huh? All right. Luckily for me, he likes to BM every now and then. Oh. All right. Oh, man. Okay, well. So I'm wondering if I'm stuck in some sort of loop because these people keep saying, like, oh, I'm going to send you back, and, like, when I send you back, we'll start it all over and all that shit. So I'm wondering if I'm going to get, like, Shyamalan in the end here. Oh, come on, controller. Don't do me like this. Have a heart, man. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm glad he didn't, like, damage me at all that entire time. I also noticed uh, something I, I, I want to make sure to point out, because I pointed out in an earlier episode that the music 
was done by uh, an artist named Carpenter Brute, but as I saw in the pause screen earlier, when I was reprimanding my cat, uh, the artist changed. So I guess there are uh, multiple people who work on this soundtrack. I thought maybe they had just gotten one artist, but it seems no. So that's cool. I guess that's why they each sort of have their own like distinct feel. And I like that. I think that was a good idea. I think games need to put more thought into their soundtracks. Okay. So this, I think, is the furthest I've ever gotten. Oh no, I, I fought this stage before. Because I fought the... I got to the point where he, like, multiplies. Oh, there's a big old bug in my room. I really dislike bugs. I don't I don't have a fear of them, like my fear of whales or things of the deep. But they gross me out. A lot. I used to be like a pretty hardcore germaphobe when I was a kid. Oh, okay. I could just completely whiff on every account. Wow. Okay, that sort of uh, <laughs> made my winning streak go away. I had a lot of health for a second. Oh no. I wanted to get him while he was showboating. No. Oh. Ah, he's got me this time for sure, Zs. Alright, Stinky Steve. How about we give it a little bit of a break, yeah? Oh! Nice. I actually hadn't seen my little cutscene move for this fight, because, uh... I guess I hadn't parried him well enough. Or maybe it's, like, only during certain attacks that you parry? Alright, so he's about to clone himself. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait! I got to his, like, like end stage, didn't I? Now I'm thinking about it, because now I remember, like, uh, he's shooting out a bunch of stuff and there's all these lines and clones coming at me. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Can I really not remember one night in the past? Okay. Only two bars left. I'm really hoping to get past this guy. He's got a really cool style, but I've always for some reason just had a fundamental dislike of like poison places in games like Blight Town and Dark Souls or Acid Man in the last Mega Man. I just don't know why. Maybe it's because damage over time has always bugged me in video games. No. Not that this has that, but I just like have a fundamental dislike of being in locations like this. No. Oh, wow. That was the end of it, huh? So what I'm wondering is... Are... Was it just me and the second person who were prisoners? Or is everyone here a prisoner and a jailer? Okay. No. Oh, come on. I only blocked one of those. Oh, wait. If I can just get around him while he's doing that. Oh, wow. He's just really fast. I'll give myself a little hug, huh? Alright. I can do that. How are you supposed to land those charge shots? How is it done? Oh, 
I don't think it's possible. Okay. Um. This guy seems like he'd be great to host a book club with. Or maybe a Bible study. Seems really personable. Like he doesn't hold grudges. Really seems like he lives day to day. Alright. Eat my nuts, kid. Eat them again! One for each nut! Oh, okay. You just have to parry, that's all you gotta do. Okay, so he's down to his last bar. Delete. Delete! 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 I should really watch Death Note again. Alright, so I gotta dodge the Poison Spheres. His okay, Shadow Clones. Oh, if I just get socked in the face, I can make them stop short though, huh? That could be out strategic. All right, oh, okay. All right, that was quick. I really don't want to lose this, though. I can do it. I hurt myself today. Yeah, I know I made that reference already. But how can you not? I mean, he just won't stop talking about it. He loves Johnny Cash and Nine Inch Nails. I just don't, I just, I just don't, I don't understand when or how. I'm losing my patience with this kid. Am I missing something that's like super straightforward on how to dodge those things? Am I ever going to get a move where I get to like unlock my chakra gates and get like a super move or is this what I'm working with? I'm fine if that's what I'm working with because I like games where... It's just based on player skill, whether or not you can beat something, as opposed to like, okay, I'm just gonna grind up a million levels. Or find, like, the best drop. You I think a lot of my love for video games and the, like, the types of games that I've gravitated towards I think comes a lot from playing Mega Man as a kid. I remember when I was really young, I would go over to my uh, aunt and uncle's house, and my cousin, who's like, I guess, close to 20 years older than me and my brother, uh, would let us play all the Mega Man games on his NES. And I just loved everything about those games. And I think that's why I really gravitate towards boss-centric games, and like I said, games where, like, it's not about item collection. That being said, I recently I've really gotten into, like, survival and item collection games, like Subnautica and Stardew Valley. I think a big reason I got into Let's Plays, actually, is because... As a kid, I actually wasn't the biggest fan of playing video games. I used to just watch my brother and my older cousins play games and just sort of, like, experience the games. And so, like, as I got older, I started to like playing video games myself, but I still liked watching people play video games, so I grab Like, I started watching Let's Plays. Ow. And I'm like, hey, maybe I can do that, too. I, I've played a video game or two. I never shut up. Maybe I could do a Let's Play. Ow. I think the biggest limiting factor is I look like the ghost of a nose floating on camera. Okay, so he does four there. Good to know. I'm feeling 
pretty confident about this guy, though. I think I can get to his last cycle pretty easily. You just gotta stay calm and watch for his uh, animations. No, oh, controller. You done did me dirty. Oh! But it's not even difficult. I don't need my controller to work to beat this guy. Okay. So it looks like I want to try and counter him on the fourth one of those, because I think that's what procs that cutscene. Hey. He says not blocking the fourth thing. Alright. Shadow Clone Jutsu! Shoot him with the balls! Hit him with the balls! Rudy's got the chalk! I'll do this for the entire chalk zone. Fuck off! Uh, Rudy never had to deal with this shit. Maybe that's what, uh, oh shit, what was his, uh, what was his sidekick? Not sidekick, his bro's name. The superhero guy. Was it like Scratch or Snap or something? <laughs> Maybe this is the, the shit he had to put up with while Rudy was just gallivanting on his adventures. Uh, oh no, my headphone. Alright, well, while he's mercilessly stabbing me into the sewage, I can recover said headphone. I can take a couple of them out <laughs> by shooting them if I'm not awful. Oh. Okay, so I didn't get nearly as hurt as the past times. Oh, wow. Okay. Blowing through this nerd. I wonder how it determines when I'll do that like extra damage cutscene and if there's a way I could know when said cutscene would happen as well. Yada yada yada, destroy everything we stand for, cry cry cry, wah wah wah. Do you need me to call him wine one one? Do you want me to call the wambulance? I just get a kick out of how like he's laughing, then all of a sudden just like on his knees getting his ass whooped. Perfect parrier, nice. I'm fine with getting achievements that validate my parrying skills. No. Alright, we've got three health bars. I'm just over this guy's chicanery, honestly. I'm ready for it to be over. I want to see what the next area is. Which I will do. I'll let you guys, since we've just been stuck on this guy for a little bit, I'm definitely going to move on to the next area just to, like, see what it is before I end this episode. Don't you wear your pretty little noodles on that one. Okay. Oh, Alright. I just need to get to, like, the edges. Oh. Well, not quite like that. Whew! Oh! Oh, there it is! 
Ladies and gentlemen, Stinky Steve is down. Oh man, why do I keep knocking my headphone out though? Oh, we got the Frieza treatment. Call me Trunks. Wait, that water was this deep the entire time? Share his fate, or will life take him so how am I standing on it? <laughs> Hope comes from the strangest places. Nice. Well, the next step in our adventure begins I thought about it right for now. So long. Destruction of the world on one hand, but on the other. What about my world? Why should their world be more valuable than mine? Who's? Where are you from? Are we from the same place? My decision. I will free myself. Were you put here because you didn't save said other world? Whatever the cost. When he was talking about like a dot on the sun and then like one big explosion, I was guessing that there was some sort of like meteor strike that had destroyed the earth. Ooh. I like how they're just like, the, the grass is just sort of wiggling around, like dancing. Oh, wow, this is awesome. I'm guessing that giant dome is where I need to go. You know, maybe you could like bring me along with you when hard, you teleport. But when I am struggling... It would really make my journey a lot, well, I guess less scenic, but also a lot quicker. It keeps me focused. It keeps me going. You were captured, thrown in prison, tortured. Finally, you escaped. And Thanks for uh, not shelling it for me, bud. Those guardians, hand-picked, top-of-their-game killing machines, just waiting to throw you back in. How does that make you feel? You know, a bit of a mixed bag. Makes me feel special. They kill you already because they can't. Believe me, they would if they could, without blinking. Sound Second like real nice people. Them now is to put you back in chains. The visuals in this game are like genuinely mesmerizing sometimes. Can you feel it? The anger? Good. Focus on it. Let it grow. My character is really not showing any of these emotions that Frank over here is projecting on me. You're so angry. Well, I'm, I really seem like I'm calmly walking around. Let me tell you some more about what this one did to you. Okay. You need to know. Lay it on me, bud. No stopping you. He is the one who got you here in the first place. He is the one who brought you down. He led the men who captured you. Hundreds of them against you. Was that fair? Doesn't sound like it. Time to take your revenge. They do such a good job of building up each of these fights. Like, they really get you amped to do it. Oh, man. The jailer is the key. Kill him, and you will be free. And... Next time! Oh, no. Oh, no, I started the cutscene. I tried to sass everyone. But I guess you get to see what he looks like. Why don't I just settle down in some of these places? It's a wee little lad. Here, little boy, let me come kill you and take the key. He who knows no fear knows no courage. I take mine from you. We are 
what we fight for. Am I about to murder this guy in front of his son? I feel like that's cold, even for me. I look at you, stranger, and I see nothing. Desolation. Death. You are alone. I am fighting for something much greater than this. A little boy. Can you imagine the strength that gives me? I doubt it. And so your fight ends here. Oh, man. Well, next time our fight is actually going to start right here. So as always, thanks for joining me. Uh, I had a lot of fun beating Stinky Steve's ass into the ground. Uh, but next time we'll see what this guy has in store. So if you liked what you saw, hit me up with a like and a comment. And if you really like what you saw, you can hit me up with a subscribe. Uh, and if you didn't like what you saw, you can go eat a big old boot.